Hi everybody, welcome back to LDRS Creative. We are in studio tonight. Uh, Alan and I are here, my producer, and he's got sound coming back at me. <laughs> and we've actually got, my, got our son here as well. His name is Keaton and he's waving hello, but you can't see him. But he's, uh, he's taken a little bit of an interest and he's learning what we do behind the scenes. So that's kind of interesting. So a little bit of fun there. So it's been fun sharing that with him. So hello, everybody. I see everybody coming in. We've got um, hello to Kim McDaniel and Sheila Fisher and Jen Ray. I know Linnea's out there too. Uh, Margie, welcome. Shelly and Debbie, Cindy Patty, Elizabeth, IBL. Hi. Um, everybody's so great. Becca is here, Beth Ballone, so many, so many familiar names. It's so great uh, to have you guys here. Sandy Yee is here. Hi! <laughs> um, so uh, we've had a really fun and exciting week. I don't know if you guys caught us over at uh, Scrapbook and Cards Today magazine over at their Facebook page. Um, I did live for them. If you haven't seen it, go there because it's fun. And um, I did live for them on, um, what day was it? On Tuesday, I think Tuesday, was it Tuesday night? I think it was Tuesday night. And um, they're doing a whole partner celebration. So, um, you know, I, I think I was, I think we were the third um, video. There were some, you know, I, there was, uh, who was on there? Pink Fresh was on there. Um, I think Concord 9th has been on. They're, they've got different people all through the entire month. So um, if you haven't already taken a look at that, go over to Scrapbook and Cards Today magazine after tonight's live, maybe. <laughs> I don't want to send you away right now. Um, but go there because there's lots of fun things. You get to see new products. You get to see some crafting. And, you know, everybody who's coming on and doing a live, they're, we're actually using product and, and making some really fun and cool stuff that, um, that I think you guys are really going to get inspired by. I really enjoy and be able to create um, at home as well so um, more people are coming in here yay angel is here anna is here hello everybody esmeralda peggy so many people coming in thank you guys um all right so you know for those of you that already know we have a kit over at uh, scrapbook.com it is exclusive to scrapbook.com and it's called the Hey Friend Kit and it's stamps, dies, and stencils. And you know, we did a launch of it and everything, but I haven't actually played with it. And I thought, you know what? I want to have a go. I want to I want to play with it. Um, who else is coming in? More people are coming in. Gail's coming in, Mary's coming in, Patty Redmond. Hello, everybody. Um, Alan moved the monitor to the front of me. Oh, and Sue D, I see you're there. I don't think I said your name yet. Um, but Alan moved the monitor right in front of me, so I no longer have to, you know turn my head away from you. I get to see everybody coming in right in front of me, which is kind of cool. So um, anyway, so like I was saying, I'm going to be playing with the Hey Friend kit. And I thought, you know, here we are, August already, almost the middle of the month. And I thought, you know, I don't, I, you know, I'm not into Christmas stuff just yet. Um, but I thought maybe we'll do something with some fall colors for tonight's card. And I thought it would be fun to show you how versatile this kit is. Um, I'm going to show it to you right now. We're going to switch cameras so you know what I'm talking about. So let's go ahead to camera two. Three. <laughs> Ayla's correcting me. So we'll go to camera three. This is the stamp set. Now, this is a, um, it's a four by six stamp set. It has one large stamp, set, stamp of the flowers. And then you get four different sentiments. And they're, they're kind of generic, you know, for, for friends. There's a thank you, hey girlfriend, wish you were here. Um, but it's one stamp. And then with the dies, you have one large die right here that's going to cut out all of those flowers individually. And then there's a die for each of those four sentiments. And then there's also stencils. Now this is my used set, so you see color on my stencils. But there's four stencils here. And I'm actually going to stencil and show you how this works today. But these are layering stencils. One of the things I love about this, this set is, first of all, it's kind of generic in terms of themes. You can send it out really to anybody. Um, but the other thing I like about it is this is not a particular flower. It's not like it's a rose or a tulip or a daisy. Um, this is just, it's just a doodle flower. So it's not a real flower. So you could really use this year round for any occasion. And you can use any color scheme. And I know we've shown you guys a lot of like spring and summer color schemes. Um, but today I thought I would do something with fall colors and see where we land with that. So I think I've prepped a pretty cool card and um, we're gonna see how it's gonna work out. I haven't actually test assembled yet. So we're gonna be doing that, um, that here. So 
I have the Hey Friend kit. Alan, do you want to go back to camera two? A few other things that I decided to pull in. You know, one of my staples, I love my card toppers. Tonight I'm pulling, I'm pulling in the A2 stitched layered card toppers. Three dies, the outer one will cut your A2 card and then the other two are for, you know, layering and frames and stuff like that. I'm gonna play with our wood grain stamp. You can see this one has been well loved. Uh, you can see the ink on it. Uh, so we're gonna be playing with that. And I might, I pulled in my, um, my enamel dots from our One Fine Day and our lovely watercolor collection because of the colors that I decided to stencil with tonight. So, um, and then I have some ribbon. I just grabbed this like a few minutes before we went live. We'll see if I put that in there or not. I don't know, we'll see. I also have a whole bunch of, um, of our hybrid inks in a variety of colors. So let me first get, oops, let's move those things over. And we're gonna get started. I've got my little bag of tricks here, my little bag of goodies that I've already started. Let's get these out of here. I've done some of the work as I usually do ahead of time so that you don't have to watch every single step. We'd be here for a little bit longer. Um, but um, so here I've already stamped um, and I, you know what, let me show you this real quick. If you haven't seen, like for our stamps, stencil, and die sets, this is one large stamp here. So the flower stamp, I know I mentioned it, but it's another thing to actually see it. You can see how it's one large stamp. And the, the, the flowers are far enough apart um, so that, you know, you can stamp it, you can stencil them really easily, but then when you wrap your die around it, it's going to cut them into individual little flowers. And I've already done several of them, and I've prepped this one here. So let me put this away real quick, because you know me, I don't like to leave this stuff out, because then I lose things. So I'm a real stickler, stickler about cleaning up. My, husband, my son is probably rolling his eyes right now, because he knows, oh, no, it's not going to go in. What have I done? All right. All right, Alan's going to do that for me. There you go. Okay, so I've already done a lot of the work here. And um, so here I've got my little plate. This is a new little plate. And, and um, I know somebody had asked when I was live on Scrapbooking Cards um, Today magazine. I had this little thing because I thought it was really cute. I needed a way of organizing stuff. And um, no, we don't sell them. I literally just went on Amazon.com and I searched for, I think this is a watercolor uh, it's a ceramic watercolor palette. That's what it is. It is ceramic, and I wanted ceramic, um, but it's a you know just like it's like a paint palette except it's ceramic, and it's a really cute little tray. So I think it was like thirteen or fourteen bucks, something like that. Not a big deal, and I love it. So I actually bought two of them because I think it's cool. So anyway, I have a whole bunch of colors here. So you can see I've already done flowers. I did more in yellow. You know what? Let's zoom in here. Let's come in. So I did more yellow because. Um, because I thought the yellow is just, it's, it, I, thought, I think it's a really great accent. And um, I don't know how many of these I'm going to do. I'll tell you how, why I decided to do this number of them. But um, I've got some red and some orange, and I'm going to actually do purple for you. And then here's the greens, the leaves, and so on. And I already did a little sentiment. So those are ready to go. But here's what I did. Because I color blended... I worked with my Strathmore Bristol. This sheet is nine by 12, and so I just cut it into six pieces, literally. I, um, I took it and I, um, I turned it in this direction here, and I cut it at four inches, then at four inches, and then I cut each of those in half. So I ended up with six squares, and I just went ahead and stamped, this is the square right here. I stamped each one of them with, um, with our watermark ink. So this is our watermark, basically embossing ink pad. So this I stamped it with that. And then I just embossed them all in gold with gold, um, you know, embossing powder. And so that's where I landed with this. So I did six of those. I already colored up five of them. I'm going to do the last one here for you guys. What else do I have here? I've got, uh, this is just an A2 card base. Um, it is four and a quarter by five and a half after it's been scored. And it's top folding, so it's like a tent. And then I have two, um, just, you know, A2 here for, you know, whatever crafting I'm going to be doing. I always like to have some of those. So we're going to go ahead and get started with this. And uh, let me move this out of the way. Okay. So I did a bunch of colors already. I've already done some yellow, as you can see. What do I have here? I had yellow, I have red, and I have orange. 
And so I decided to bring some be beautiful purple in. I love purple for fall, especially when it gets darker. So I have two different purples. The first one that I have is Lala Lavender, which is gonna be my base. And then the next one is Grape Ape, and that's gonna give me that really nice deep dark purple flower, which I think is just gorgeous for fall. This is my little scrap piece here. So I'm just gonna get this out and get that ready. Let's go ahead and get my stencils. Now these layering stencils are really, really cool. Um, our layering stencils actually have alignment guides. So whenever you see this little note here, it says alignment guides, that means our stencils, that the stencil pack has the alignment guides on it. The way that those alignment guides work, um, first of all, I don't know if we can catch it on camera. See the A there, all of, right there on the bottom, right there, A. So all of them, are, all of our stencils, when they're layering stencils, will either be numbered, they'll be alphanumeric, okay? So the very first stencil does not have any alignment guides on. If I go like this, you don't see any alignment guides, right? So this is stencil A, that's the first one. Here's stencil B, all right? So here's the B, this one is next. Now do you see here, let's see if we can see this. Maybe we can do it here, okay. See that flower? You can see where it's cut out, because you can see my hand through it, but see those other little lines there? Those are the alignment guides. Those alignment guides, when I lay them up against, so I would stencil with stencil A, let's move this out of the way, I would stencil with stencil A, and then that image, I would then lay stencil B over it. Stencil B is going to, those alignment guides will line up with exactly the outline that I stenciled on stencil A, okay? And then each subsequent um, stencil is gonna have guides on it as well. See how it has those guides? They're not cut out, but you can see how they are just kind of etched in there. Those help you line up your stencils. So let me put these back in order. Um, so, you know, why do we do it that way? We do it that way so that you can stamp anywhere on your project. So if you're doing a 12 by 12 uh, scrapbook page, you can start stenciling, not stamp, but you could, you could start stenciling anywhere on your piece of paper and not worry about you know placing this in the corner or making sure you you know get some ink in your little you know some i know some of them have like a little cutout alignment guide there you know where it's like a little hole or something and you line that stencil up every time well i don't want to stencil a little hole or you know a little tick mark on my project um, especially if i'm not going to be cutting it out if i just want to put you know some flowers someplace and i'm not cutting anything out um, so the way we do the alignment guides, it makes it so that you can stencil anywhere on your project. You don't have to line up in a corner. You don't have to line up with any tick marks. You don't have to do any of that stuff. It's just easy. So um, first one I'm grabbing is Lala Lavender. And I have got my purple brush here. Ooh, there was something else I was going to tell you. Do I have it over here? Let me see if I have it over here. Do you see that tan thing over there, a little jar, tan jar, tan colored jar. Nope, oh, right there, right there, down, right there. Yep, perfect. I need my laser <laughs> I know, where it's, oh, it's in here somewhere. <laughs> you know, I, I wanted to tell you something. I was, um, I realized it had been forever since I cleaned my brushes and my brushes were getting a little stiff. Um, and so I was just kind of digging through my drawer and I didn't know how old this was. I still don't know how old this was, but this worked so well, you know, cause I watercolor, right? I love water, water painting and watercolor painting. And, um, and this is, this is a cleaner that I got for my brushes for, um, for when I did watercolor. And, um, and I thought, you know what, I'm going to try it. <laughs> So I just went under some warm water and you open it up and it just looks like this, you know, no big deal. So I just went under some warm water, wet the brush and you just swirl it around in there. And I'll tell you that ink started coming out like you wouldn't believe it was great. Really clean my brush. Now my brush is stained, but it is super soft again. It is so gorgeous. And then you just kind of, you know, let this air dry. And so I just spent about 10 minutes and cleaned all of my brushes. Um, I know they have this on Amazon. Um, it's the master's brush cleaner and preserver and um, it is wonderful. I highly recommend it if you're looking for something to clean your brushes. Okay, sorry about my little sidebar there. So we're gonna go ahead, I'm lining up stencil A and I'm gonna get some of my purple on the brush, La La Lavender, let me line that back up again. I'm, I haven't taped it down so it moves if I take my hands off of it. We're gonna do this really quickly. Okay, I'll get my lavender down here. I'm gonna keep this kind of light because that's gonna be the highlight. So just a little bit of that lavender. Look how pretty already. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> oh, 
already. Love it. Very simple. Let me move that aside. I'm going to give this, I like to turn this over and just give this a quick clean off. There we go. Before I move on to the next one. Let's move this here so I can reach it better. Okay. So my next ink is Grape Ape. Get my next stencil, which is stencil B. See the B? All right. I'm going to line up my little alignment guides with the flowers. Oops, let me get this open before I start doing anything here. Okay. Line up my alignment guides. The nice thing is you can see right through the stencils, so you can see where you're lining up. So it's just perfect. Alan's looking, so if you see his shadow, <laughs> Sorry. it's okay. Never mind. Never mind. What am I doing here? Hold on a minute. Okay. So let me get this color in. I'm brushing up. If you notice, these have like little spidery things, like spider legs. So I'm not going too much in a circle on those because I don't want to bend those. But here we go, all in purple. Now, if you want to do different colors on the different flowers here, you can certainly do that. You can kind of tape them off. There's enough space between them as well so that you don't really have to tape them off. Um, or mask them, I should say, if we're going to use a technical term. Look how pretty. Yay! So pretty. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get my ink covered. I'm a stickler for getting that ink covered right away because if I don't, I will get it all over something. So let me get this cleaned off. Now, you know, if you're leaving stains on there like I am, you can use, um, you can actually use our stamp cleaner to, to rub on there and clean that off. I'm not going to worry about that right now. Um, but I am, pardon me here, going to clean off any excess off my brush. This is my ink towel. Just get that excess off of there. And so now I'm going to move to my greens. Now I am doing three colors of green. Two stencils, but three colors of green. So the first one is Key Lime Pie. So let me grab my green brushes here. All right, so I've got my nice green. I'm going to grab stencil number three. Now on stencil number th three, st stencil C. <laughs> it's my third stencil. I'm actually going to do two different colors on this one, and you'll see why in a minute. There we go. Are there questions out there? Have you seen any yet? To, no. To, to, uh, is anyone? Oh, so, okay. Someone's asking if, the, if their chat is wonky. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is what did I say? This was key lime pie. Just get that in. This is a really vibrant green, which is why I ended up doing two colors with this stencil. So remember, I said I was doing like fall. Well, that's pretty bright for fall. It's more like spring green. So I ended up grabbing, and I liked how it looked together, I ended up grabbing olive, bran olive branch. If you just want to start with olive branch, you could do that. But I really liked the combination of the two. Um, leaving the same stencil here, I'm going to pick up some of that olive branch. And I'm literally just brushing up on it just a little bit so I kind of get the bottoms of the leaves. I might get full coverage on some of the leaves, but on some of them I'm just getting the bottoms. Now here this one is upside down, so I'm pulling down on it. Same with this one. It's going to be uneven coverage is really what I'm going for. And that just darkens it a tiny little bit, leaves some highlights in there. I thought it was really pretty. I thought it was a nice way of getting a darker color in there without getting overall like real full coverage on it. So let me go ahead and brush off the green off of this brush. I do have a second brush that I use for darker greens. And I'm going to quickly flip this over and wipe this off of here. Because you know, the minute I don't do that, I'm going to stick my hand in that or something and I'm going to ruin my project. Sandy Yee's asking you when you're going to Hawaii. Oh, Sandy Yee she asking. Wants, maybe she wants to come rob the place. <laughs> <laughs> nice, real nice. Sandy's asking when we're going to Hawaii. What day is today? What's the Thursday. date? Today's know. the 11th? I don't know. 
Yeah. We leave in nine days. Let's put it that way. <laughs> <laughs> Counting down the minutes. <laughs> we're already in training. Oh, yeah, we're already in training. We actually did uh, snorkeling training last weekend. Got our equipment. Yeah, we're excited. So now this green is evergreen. Um, and I'm going to get right in there with the darkest green I can with this one. So yeah, we are very excited about going to Hawaii. We have all kinds of stuff. Alan is going to be swimming with sharks. He's doing shark diving. Um, we're going to be going up in a helicopter with the doors off. Oh my gosh. Why would you ride in a helicopter with the doors on? <laughs> Alan says, why would you ride in a helicopter with the doors I'm on? jump out if the doors okay. are on. Okay, yeah, exactly. He was, all right, look how gorgeous that is. Isn't that pretty? Oh my gosh. I'm telling you, if you don't have this kit yet, get it. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh my, I love it. I love it. This is one of my favorite kits we did in a very long time. I, I absolutely love this kit. It's so pretty. All right. So Alan was saying, why would you jump? Why would you, why would you get up, go up in a helicopter with the doors on? He was in the 82nd Airborne in the military. Um, they're special forces in the army, and uh, so he loves. Uh, and they were, you guys were jumping out at what, 800 feet or something? Uh, yeah. Uh, Which uh, is just crazy to me. Well. I don't even want to go up in the air 800 feet, but well, we'll, we'll see. I have a feeling I'm going to black out at takeoff. And <laughs> 800 feet is enough to open, be able to react. It's okay. You're... 800 feet is as low as you can go. Okay. 800 feet. That's insane. Okay. Here we go. So let me put my stencils away. And by the way, if you didn't notice this, on the back of the package, we'll ignore the warning. That's just because it's a plastic bag. But we have actually the um, images on the back so you can see how you layer them up and what you get. So it's pretty useful. Pretty, pretty cool. Coolamundo, the Fonz would say. What did I do with my stamps? Where did I put the stamps? Did you give me the stamps back? I did. It might be underneath that thing. No? Yeah, it is. Oh, it's under here. Okay. Sorry. All right, I'm losing things other than my mind. <laughs> That's wow, wow. Okay, so here we go. Let's get the die out. Let's see. Oh, Dieta's here. Hi, Dieta. She's helicopter in Ho helicoptering in Hawaii is the best. It's beautiful. Been many times. Oh, I'm jealous. This is our first time going. Hopefully, not our last. Alan is not much for tropical vacations. He likes like daredevil stuff. He doesn't like sitting in the sun or, you know, being on the beach or anything like that. So um, the only way I was able to get him to go, we have actually some, some good friends of ours are going to. My girl Stephanie um, is, uh, and her husband are coming with us as well. We're all going together and, and our son of course is going. And uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. So the guys are going to be doing like more daredevil stuff. We'll be doing some, you know, some things together and then some daredevil stuff that only the guys are doing while Stephanie and I are, we'll call it relaxing by the beach. <laughs> Looking forward to that. It's going to be great. Okay, so I've lined up this die, as you can see. The die, it's one die that lines up over all of those flowers at the same time. Ellen, you want to come back to camera too? All right, let's get this over here. Get that out of the way. That is still the weirdest sound to me. It always sounds like everything is breaking. Okay, let's come back into camera two. Let's see how we did. Is Look that at that. Two? <laughs> what? That camera two? No, that's camera three. I okay. wanted you. There you, you go. Want, you want to be there. No, I guess I did want camera three. <laughs> <laughs> I call everything camera two. He keeps telling me. <laughs> camera two, camera two. He has to decipher which one I actually mean. <laughs> the other one. Just the other the one. The other camera two. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, oh my goodness. 
Okay, one little piece here that didn't pop out, so let me get that real quick. Okay, so this is what the die does. It separates all those pieces, just like I showed you. Here's the other one, right? Love these, they're so cool. So cute. I think it's so, just really easy. You know, you stencil out, you stamp everything one time. You stencil everything one time. You cut it one, you know, one pass through the machine and it's just bam, bam, bam. Look at your project, this is what you got. So, now look at everything we have going on here. So once we add purple to this little mix here, let me separate and sort and all that good stuff. That one goes in there. So pretty. All right, so now I have it all organized. So now you can see the different colors. So half of them are yellow, but that allows me then to have a whole, I, I'm not gonna be using all of these on one card. It's just not gonna happen. <laughs> but I figure I can get several cards out of this. I just think it's gonna be really pretty. So look at that gorgeous color combination. I think it's stunning for fall. So I'm really excited about this. I think it's gonna be really pretty. This purple one, I think, shows the, the, the detail off the most. I think I went a little too dark with the pink on that one, maybe. I would have gone a little bit lighter. And I would have gone lighter with the yellow on that one as well, or maybe even left it white. Um, I think I went a little dark on the orange, too. It was my, like I said, it was my first time really playing with this kit. And, uh, you know, you make adjustments as you go, right? So that's where we are with those. So next up, I thought, hmm... Let's see what we're gonna do. Um, I'm gonna go ahead, remember I said I had some paper here to stamp with. This is my Nina Classic Crest Solar White. So I kind of have an idea of what I wanna do on the card and we're gonna see if we can make it work. And let's go back to actual camera too. <laughs> and so now I've got my wood grain stamp. And I'm gonna stamp this out. I'm actually not going to use this. Let's move that over there somewhere. This is a really big stamp, so I might have to stamp it a couple of times. We'll see. All right, let's see. More people are coming in still. Debbie Bauer, I see here. Welcome, Debbie. Gail Spresser is here. Welcome, Gail. People's names are just scrolling. I love seeing all that. So let's see, which way is this going to go? Um, I think I'm going to have the wood go across like this. We'll see how this works out. Where's my stand pendable? All right. So now, now this is a really big stamp, and I'm using a small piece of paper, right? And I can't fit my magnet there because I cut the paper too small. I don't have a place to put the magnet. So I'm going to go ahead and pull coffee bean, coffee bean, and I'm going to get this inked up. And like I was saying, this is a big stamp. So I may have to do this a couple of times. We'll see. Get that good and inky. We'll see how we do. Cross your fingers, everybody. Do, do, do. Just really give this some good pressure all around. Give it a moment for that ink to soak into that paper. And then we're going to lift this up and see how it looks. Look at that. Everyone, I think we're good. There we go. We only had to do it once. Perfect. Isn't that beautiful? So pretty. I almost think I should have started with craft paper and gone over it, but oh well, that's where we're going to go. I think it's still going to be really pretty. Um, let me go ahead and wipe the excess off of here. I will clean this later, I think. You don't want to watch me clean this now. But I'll just get the excess. So sorry about that sound. That is so terrible. It's squeaky clean. Already. It's squeaky clean. <laughs> All right. Let's put this away. And 
make sure we get this on here. I I'm not going to worry about lining this up perfectly. Just get it on here. Is that the way it even goes? Yeah, I think that's right. It's hard to see where the ends are. There we go. No, that didn't work. That was terrible. There we go. I didn't have it straight at all. Okay. So I don't really care if the pattern matches, you know, with how I laid it on there. I just want it covered so it's safe and it's, you know, not going to be collecting tons of lint everywhere. All right. Get that put away. All right. So let's see. Let's put this one away now. All right. So here is my thinking. I'm thinking... What am I getting here now? This is these are my A2 stitch layered card topper dies here. So I want one of the smaller ones. So here's the two dies, the two outermost dies. I don't want the largest one because that's the same size as my card base. So I'm going to go ahead and trim this whole thing. Not trim, but die cut. I need to get a magnetic plate here for this. Okay. There we go. Let me see if I can do this without spilling it all over. I'm not usually moving my machine as I'm working. There we go. There we go. This is also easier to do when I'm standing. <laughs> right now I'm sitting. Okay. So here we go. Now we have this piece that has stitching that you can't see, but it's still there. Why did I want stitching on it? I want stitching on it because I'm going to have stitching on my topper here, which is going to be white. So I've already got it cut to A2. But I'm going to go ahead and line this up on here and get it taped. Taping it because I don't want it to move. I want to make sure I get all that stitching on there the way it should be. You could do this obviously with a larger piece of paper if you want and then you don't have to do all this taping. But And yes, it is going to cut through my tape and I'll have to peel that up or I could leave it on there anyway. It's just going to be on the bottom so it doesn't really matter if you won't see it. Okay. Not to imply that if I, you know, don't want to see things, I just sweep them under the sofa or anything. <laughs> oh my gosh. Alan, help me. I can't turn this. I don't want to break it. Huh? Is it break? No, I just can't turn it. Okay, bring it help in. me out, please. Yep. Oh, I'm going to hurt my back if I do that. There you go. Thank you. Wow. I know it's hard to do. I can't do it when no, I'm, I'm sitting. I'm afraid I was going to break the... No. Oof. Yeah, Golly. Things, probably angry. better. No, it's probably, I should probably angle that yeah. and then it wouldn't have such a lip on it but to go through there. Liners, they're so strong, man. Yes, that is true. I love them. They're really, really good. Sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay. <laughs> They're my favorite. Alan loves the Spellbinders machines the most. Okay. So I don't think I need that anymore. So, you know, like I said, it, it cut through the tape. I'm just going to leave that on there because it's not going to be in the way. It's not going to matter. That's going to be on the underside. So here's the thing. So now I have the stitching. Will you come into um, camera three? All right. So now I have the stitching all around the outside, which just really kind of completes the look. And then even though you can't see the stitching on here, the stitching is on there. So I'm going to trim this piece down and we're going to set this kind of in the center is kind of what I'm thinking, but I don't know what depth I want yet. It's going to be somehow down like this. So now I'm just going to start playing. Because my idea is, my thinking is that maybe this is just like the wood of a little flower box. Mm. And, um, and then I would have some pretty flowers coming up out of it, like so. Just mixing in some pretty things. So let me line these up a bit. Like 
this. Let's get some pretty stuff in here. We need a red. Get this little pink one in here. Actually, I think I like the pink one there. And then let's get an orange. I don't have an orange. We can put an orange here. I feel like I need another large flower. And like I said, I really want to have the fall colors. I'm going to lower that down like that, I think. And maybe put a yellow in the center here. Overlap them a bit. That way it looks nice and full, busy. And I can just start adhering them down. So it'll look like a really pretty little garden. Okay, I think that's, I think I'm going to get started. I'm going to go ahead and start laying some of these flat. And I think I'm going to get my adhesive here. Let's see. My LDRS craft glue. Let's put that up kind of high. There we go. I'm not worried about whether or not I have a lot of adhesive all down the whole thing because we're going to have something holding it down there anyway. Make that one a little bit shorter. There we go. Yellow. There we go. Um, let me get a yellow in between here also. And like I said before, I'm not going to try and use all of these. I just want to get some pretty pops of color in here. And just have this little garden growing. Hmm. Purple. I don't want to cover up everything in the background either. But I want to space out the color a bit. Um, let's see. Here's a pretty red. Now what do we need? Let's see. We could stand with a purple. I have those same flowers right in the center there, so I don't want too many of those. Let's put this one in here. Mix up the flowers a bit. There we go. And then, oops, it's lifting up. We don't want to do that. Lay that back down. <laughs> what else do I have in here? Do, 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 do. Here is a pretty red, but that's the same one as that flower. So I need a little something, something. Let's get orange over here. Oh my gosh, Alan, can you go get me a tissue? Sure. Uh, maybe I'll just use the glue. Here we go. You won't find any tissue in there. <laughs> that's why I decided to just use the glue. <laughs> use what? Just use the glue because I know there's I'm no tissue in there. Yeah, I want you to go get some. Ah, oh, yikes. All right, that's a lot of glue. Make it work. All right, this is what I'll do. Stand that up. Glue just keeps coming out of it. Go like that and get that excess there. There we go. Pretty. Oh, I love it. So pretty. Is this what you want? Hmm? Yeah. Let's go like this because it can be lower. I think it's fine if it's lower. Did you get me? Yeah, thank you, honey. What am I missing? 
I think, you know, I might end up using a lot of these flowers in here because I think they're really pretty. But I need a little bit of red maybe in the center there. I just want it to look like a full kind of garden. Let's put that one there. Okay. Let's see how we did. This can come like this. I think it's kind of pretty. I feel like I need a little something in here though. Maybe this little, little one here, a little yellow. Pop a yellow. Notice I'm not even using all those little leafy greens that I cut. I'll be saving those probably for another project. Or I can tuck and fill in. Maybe we'll do that too. I think that looks really pretty so far. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and trim this to roughly here where my thumb is. Yep, that's the measurement where my thumb is. <laughs> Don't, move your thumb. Don't move my thumb. It's that line right there I'm looking. There we go. That little piece aside. And so I think I'm going to pop that up maybe. No, I'm not going to because I have another plan. All right, so that's hopefully maybe going to look like a little flower box. I kind of like that. I think it looks really pretty. I feel like I'm missing something over here. But I think if I put anything more over there, it's just not going to, it's just going to be too much. I almost think this one, I'm going to get this one off of here and move it up. Yes, I just ripped that apart. Let's see if I can do this without, actually, you know what I'll do? Let me get one of those little leafy things. That can cover that little bit that I have there because I messed up, right? You move, you tuck, you roll. <laughs> Stop, drop, and roll. Stop, drop, and roll. Yep. <laughs> Let's put that in there just to get some of that coverage over that little bit that I ripped off of there. Fix a boo boo. Fix a boo boo time. And then put that a little bit further out. Like that. I think that's a little better balance of the flowers. There we go. I like it. Okay. This one's going to get some tape. Okay. Now we're going over a lot of stuff here, so I got a lot of tape on here just to hold this stuff down. Make sure it's even. There we go. So that's kind of like my little card topper. Cute. Um, and what I wanted to do was see if, now here's all the flowers that I still have left. Look at all those. So I can still do something more. I'm going to keep this here because I'm going to need that soon. I'm going to put the rest of my flowers over there. And I wanted to see if maybe I could get away with putting a little bit of ribbon around here. See what I like. I like the orange. I think the orange really stands out for fall. Maybe a little bow. Do a little bow there. Or maybe just wrap it around a couple of times. What if I wrap it around a couple of times just for a couple little stripes and then I put this over it? Could that work? Okay. Do, do, do. Let's see. I don't like wasting ribbon, so when I do my little wrapping, I literally don't wrap it all the way around. I will literally go like this and just kind of cut it and maybe go like this or something. I don't know, just make it kind of fun. And then I could put this here, right in the center. How's that look? Yay, nay. Or I'd be better off with a bow. Do I put this here and do a little bow? And then put this down here? That might look a little bit cleaner. Of course, this is a little bit harder to read down here, isn't it? Is that hard to read down there? So, so. 
Hmm. Okay. You know, you know what I'll do? I'll cut another one out of this and I will shadow it. That's what I'll do. Alan, do me a favor. Angela. There's some orange. See my little scrap thing of paper there? Mm -hmm. Couple of oranges. There's more than one orange. Perfect. Yep. Thank you. Perfect. El, El Perfecto. You know what? I'm not going to do orange because this is orange. So give me the green. Green, no, the darker, uh, no, the other oh, one over there. Yep. Give me that one. That I think will be pretty. All right, we're going to play with that and we're going to see how we go. Let's see how we go. Um, I'm going to go ahead and tape this onto the back. And where's my tape gun? Here we go. A little bit of tape, a little bit of tape. Maybe I go right up at the edge. That's I, pretty. That's what I was gonna say, but I didn't think. Kind of trims it out. Yeah. Right there. That's pretty. Of course, I didn't take my tape up that high. <laughs> do you, huh? Do you need to put anything on the back of that orange? No. No, because this will just stick right in there. So I'm gonna go right up. That'll give that nice edge. Make sure that it hits the tape on the back. And then do this side. I think that looks pretty. Perfect. That looks pretty. Okay. I'm not going to, I don't think it needs a bow. I'm not going to do a bow. I think a bow might be a little too much. So let's go ahead and put this on my card front, card base. I want to keep it simple. I don't want to do too much. So the next thing we need is to kind of frame out that sentiment a little bit. So where's my dies? Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm fanning myself. I your fan up here in a oh while. yeah, I think it's time for the fan again. <laughs> this is what happens at 54. Oh my gosh. I don't know where you start melting. I'm melting. Hey, Alan, will you get my little mini Gemini thing over there? This yep. <laughs> yes, yeah. I need that too. What the? I know. <laughs> okay, here's my little mini Gemini. There we go. He's like, what the heck? He's looking at the little suction thing going, what? Which way does this go? This one gets a lot of use, you can see. All right, put that down on there. Maybe go that way. Boom. Hope I grabbed the right one. <laughs> there we go. Oh, there you go. All right, let's see how this, if this looks better. Did I grab the right one? I think I did. Now, this die is going to be the exact same size as the sentiment because we don't have shadow dies with it. But if I offset it a little bit, then I think it's going to kind of make it pop a little bit better. And I think that will be kind of pretty. Just a little bit of shadow behind it. Does it show? Yeah. No. Hmm. Give me the orange again, please. Which one? See, this is what I go through. It's like back and forth, back and forth. Give me this brighter orange here. Oh, that might look better to... Take that. Okay, so here I just ripped it, and we're going to see how this goes. Let's try it. This might show off a little bit better. And this is just sometimes what you have to do. You just kind of play with it and see where it lands, what looks better. Okay. Dieta is saying brown. Yeah, I thought about brown. My only concern about brown is that I'm trying to stand out away from the brown, which is in the background. But if I had a really dark brown, that might be nice. Let me see with the orange. That might just kind of bring it all together there too. Ooh, I like the orange. What do you think of the orange? I like it. You like it? Can you put the green underneath? 
Let me go like this and put that underneath it instead. Oh. I like that better yeah. underneath it. Yeah, I think that's pretty. We're going to do that. Okay. So. Can you put one on top and one on the bottom? What? I actually am. I'm going to put that green one underneath it just because I'll show you why. Just because I want to pop it up and have it be a little thicker. I'm in on the Thicker. -er. Okay, so a little bit of glue. Let me move this out of the way. Offset it just like so. Okay, now this green one. I'm going to actually put right behind the orange one and it's just going to make it stand up a little bit thicker, thicker. You won't even see the green because I'm literally just going to line it right up behind the orange, but it makes the whole thing thicker, thing thicker. <laughs> Instead of putting foam behind it or something, it makes it stand up a little bit more, a little more prominent. And that's how it's going to look. And I think it's really cute. So let's go ahead. That'll work. There you go. I'm going to go up a little bit higher. I don't want it right in the middle. Just because I don't. And I'm going to hold that there. Do, 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 do. All right, I'm going to put this there. Is that straight? Do I have it straight? Oh, that's good. I better make sure it's straight. Yep, I think it's straight. Okay, so I'm going to set that there to just give it a little bit of weight and let it dry while I put a few things away just so that I have organization again. Because chaos makes me a little crazy. Crazy. And I don't want to lose my dies. All right. So let's see. We have the last thing that I have that I haven't used yet are my little dots. And frankly, I don't think I have any space for them. Unless I put them like in the middle of some of the flowers. That could actually be really cute. Let's take a look at that. Let's take a look. Like if I put this yellow, let's see, that yellow could go in the middle of that one right there. That could go in the middle of the pink. Let's do that. Let's put that yellow in the center there. Actually, maybe I mix them up a little bit. Do I want yellow on this one? <gasps> or blue? No, I don't have blue. Maybe yellow there and pink there. <gasps> That's kind of pretty. I kind of like that. Oh, that looks orange. Okay, don't like that one. <laughs> I'm going to put yellow on yellow. Okay. And pink on pink. Just a little bit of texture. And then I could put, this is a lighter purple, so let me go to my darker purple here. So that first one was from the, um, was from the lovely watercolor, and those are lighter colors. This one is the One Fine Day, and I'm going to put that purple right there. So that just gives me a little bit of texture up there. And I'm only going to put it on those three flowers because they have that little center on them that I think is so pretty. So there you go. I think that's done. So it looks like a little flower box with a whole bunch of flowers coming out. And it's all in fall colors. And I just think it is so pretty. And the little sentiment, I stamped that in... The, the embossing ink, the watermark ink, and then I just went ahead and embossed that in gold. All those flowers were also embossed in gold, so hopefully you can see that shining in there too. So pretty. I love it. Okay. I'd be up with saying, will you be selling the ex exclusive kit only through the scrapbook.com website now? That is correct. It'll only be there until they're gone. 
It's the only place you will see it ever and ever and ever and ever for all eternity. <laughs> Look at that. I think it's so pretty. All right, cool. Mr. Hunt, you want to switch the camera? Are you fluffed? Am I fluffed? Yes, you're all fluffed up and ready to go. Am I? Yeah, switch care. the camera. <laughs> oh, what happened? Look at the screen. <laughs> what is that? I don't know, but I like it. It's a nice well, can look. you fix it? <laughs> what happened? Um, uh, that's not good. Here, let me try this. Oh, what did you do? Maybe switch the camera back. So, Alan, switch the camera off of that, honey. I did. All right. Um, that's not good. We, I no, think we lost a, a camera. No, hold on a second. Can you switch it back to the overhead while you're doing that? I can, but then okay. I don't <laughs> All right. Well, something's wrong with the camera. <laughs> All right, everybody. We lost a camera, so let's oh. just leave it here. And we will just have to say goodbye from here because I don't, I don't want people to get sick looking at whatever was happening on that screen. Let's go ahead and zoom in to camera three. There we go. All right. Sorry about the camera, everybody. We're going to be finishing up from here. Oh, what'd you do? I'm just looking at the Oh, okay. Camera. Well, don't do that now because you're messing me up. Can you please switch me back to the other view? Okay. This is your view. Okay, thank you. He's messing with the cameras. He's insisting on trying to fix stuff <laughs> while I'm trying to say goodbye. Could you please stop? Because you're like freaking me out. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, everybody. <laughs> A day in the life of Angie and Alan. <sighs> As if I wasn't sweating enough already. Oh my gosh. Okay. Can I do? I'm going to say goodbye <laughs> from here. Um, everybody, again, this is the Hey Friend kit. Let me get all of the pieces here. It is stamps, dies, and stencils all rolled into one kit. You get all three of these. It's a fantastic price. It is over at uh, scrapbook.com, the only place you're going to find it. And we have all kinds of card samples for all the different seasons. I love this in fall. I think you're going to love this kit. It's really a one, two, three, and you can do so many things with it. Um, everybody, thank you so much for being here tonight. Sorry about the camera. Sorry, we're kind of, you know, I, I wish, I wish I could see you guys. Of course, I couldn't see you even if the camera was fixed, but the point is, I wish I could look at, well, look, you know what I mean. <laughs> All right, everybody, until next week, have a wonderful night. I am flustered, obviously. Have a good night. Bye, everybody.